what what just happened? Everything has. Started over, just like my report. What are you anyway? That song you played, that instrument. That instrument! Wait, that's it, your instrument. The mask salesman said that if you got your precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return to you normal. Did you completely forget or what? Everybody, it's Sam TRC here. Uh, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And as I made the joke in um, that opening sequence there, uh, this is the second recording of this video. <laughs> Were you able to recover that precious item from that imp? Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Then listen to me. Please play the song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. Uh, I don't know what happened to my C down button there. Just have to put a little more pressure on it, I guess. You can't hear it. There's noise canceling or whatever the hell this program has. You can't hear me press the buttons. melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. We shall be of assistance to you in the future. Ah oh yes, I'll give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask, and when you wear it, it will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, it will turn to normal. We have a Deku mask, and as he explained, we can turn back into a Deku whenever we want. And it's an item, so you gotta press C in our name. <laughs> Fulfill my promise to you. So please, give me a wish that you promise me. Well, shit. Don't tell me. My mask. Did. Get it back. Didn't you? What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. The mask that was stolen from me is called Majora's Mask. It's an accursed item from legend that is said to use by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great... The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the Mask in Shadow forever, preventing its misuse. I have a freaking lisp today or something. But now, the tribe from the legend has vanished, and no one really knows the true nature of the Mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask, and when I finally had it, it sends the doom of dark omen brewing. It was that of an unwelcoming feeling that makes your hair stand on end. Now the imp has it. I'm begging you, you must get that mask back or something quickly or something terrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. <laughs> really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. Be fine, surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths, believe. Whatever you say, weirdo. Anyways. Gotta get that on C. Because we'll need it. That mask. The skull kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we gotta do something about it. Swamp Mountains, Ocean, and Canyon, that tale was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who were there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. 
guess we should just go right now. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of this spot. First things first, do not continue any past this point. Play the song time backwards. The inverted song of time? Yeah, slow for current flow of time? Yes. If it seemed like the days were going by fast, yeah, they went by really fast. And this will slow down for you. So, our first course of action here is going here and getting the straight fairy again. Because the great fairy told us that if we return to her in our normal form, then she'd give some of so we gotta take her up on that offer. I just ran off the platform like me. And uh, yeah, as I was joking about earlier, there's a recording. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to get your attention. Yeah, there's a recording that happened earlier. Um, I kicked my capture card by accident. Oh, by the way, hit this out. Um, it doesn't seem important now, it will help you out later. Anyways, yeah, I kicked my capture card by accident. And then my recording went to shit, and then half of it was paused, so... There we go. Anyways, these... She just always give you rubies. So, always do that when you're coming here. Another thing you should always do. That's our fourth heart piece, meaning we get an extra heart. And also, something I didn't clarify last episode that I should probably do is that you need to do all three days in the game to um, get a heart piece, and this goes for every mini game in this game except for the shooting galleries. Kind young one, thank you for returning me to my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you press B, you can just get dialed up. Oh. I'm here for my upgrade, and that's it. I don't want to. I want to look at you. Oh, kind young one, scattered through the eyes. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, what she was talking about there. Um, there's 15 straight fairies in the temple. Um, and if you get all of them, return them to the fairy fountain. Get optional upgrades. Also, I didn't mean to skip all the dialogue, I just thought B made it go faster, and well, I was right, it made it go faster. But I didn't think it would go that fast. Like, I actually wanted to read the dialogue about the 15 straight fairies. But, oh well. You live and you learn. I know it did in Nocturne Time, I didn't know it did. Um, so. Uh, we need to go through here, and Majora's Mask has a lot of optional chests, um, as you'll come to see. So, you jump across this here. Some rolling in between to boost your jump. You'll find a, a hidden chest, and this is one of the most important hidden chests in the whole game. rupees. And then we need to go to the place where my uh, first recording ended, uh, the Honey and Darling Gallery. I must call it the Shooting Gallery, but that's incorrect. <laughs> Looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's Customer Darling. No, I don't want your news, I just want to play the Bomb Shoot Gallery. <laughs> Alright. Last time I didn't pay attention at all, so I'm first. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that doesn't work. Kidding me? I'm not even hitting it in the right spot. I hit some other target. Are you kidding me? How? Come on, get this. Yeah, yes. Oh my god. Did you see that? He got a perfect score. Yeah, give me those 50 rupees, bitch. I'm out of here. Alright, so now... What we need to do, we actually need to, like, cut a patch of grass and get some bombs. And while we're out here, there's two grottos I want to check out. So, the pro of, um, playing this game five million times is that you know where the grottos are and where you and what's in them. So, also, it's much faster to do this. It's much faster to spin the world. I've not found a single pet for this one, I'm actually disappointing myself. Here is one. Oh um, uh, yeah. Then we need to go over to this grotto. And where the butterflies are. Should be some butterflies. Yeah, some butterflies. Just, uh, yeah. Oh, there it is. I'm an idiot. And this is the pea hat grotto. It's gotta have a rhythm to this. Before we go, 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 um, before we go to the second grotto, I actually want to make my way over here. That bird up in the sky, he'll steal your shit, so don't even try. Uh, first things first, we need to hit this out. This is another great spot for later in the game. Where you need to get this out. Um, anyways, now we need to actually go over to the snowy area. Also, once you do that mask, um, transforming cutscene once, you can just press A or B to skip it. Yeah, now we need to go over to the snowy area. And, um, because there's another hidden rod in there, you guessed it, a heart piece. So, yeah. Also, isn't this just rupees? Oh no, this is for Gossip Stones. For Gossip Stones. 
We'll get into those later. And by later I mean um, actually quite soon, because you can do that quest quite early. Okay. Okay, so if you jump off this ledge and go right here, you can actually uh, play a secret song here. No! How am I hockering this on? Oh, I can't even see anything. Uh, I guess I have to do this one then. Wait. I'm struggling with. Link, get your ass out of the camera. Yeah, if you can't tell, those are, like, randomly generated a little bit of Well, not randomly generated, it's like, there's a few that it can pick from, and then it randomly does one. Yeah, do that, and you get a free piece. Now, those can actually be quite easy, because they could use songs from Ocarina of Time. And, if you played Ocarina of Time before, you, um... Target. If you played Ocarina of Time, obviously you've memorized the songs. So. Or at least I, I assume you probably did. If you did, what the fuck is wrong with you? How, how the hell did you beat Ocarina of Time without memorizing the song? How the hell did you beat any. Oh shit. I think I'm about to die. I have to go. Oh, fuck. That's one of the easier ones that I can do. Anyways, we need to go make our way over to East Clock Pass. Because um, the mayor's residence opens it. And here we have uh, this guy. Um, I honestly forget his name, but he's meant to look like Luigi, like the design of Matthew Luigi. Um, and he's gonna waddle his skinny ass through the door exactly at home. Make sure you have to wait. We're gonna go through this door. Oh dear, are you on a field trip? Oh yes, yes, you have to face the pro. Yes, um, I'm not a detective, but sure, I'll take your mask or some shit. Oh well. Um, Cafe's mask! Yeah. treasure chest in the game, but um, I don't recommend you do it just yet, because um, you only get rupees for it at our current, um, our current part in the game. Later in the game, you can get a heart piece, and that was the postman there, he'll be important later.
Anyways, it's time to go get revenge on those stupid dongos. Ding dongos. Is it a song from Ocarina of Time that I can use with you? No, it's not, so I'm not gonna do it. Stupid, stupid, gray, ugly motherfucker. That's Tango. Wait, how do you get stuck on a Now he dies, I was one hit. Don't worry. How could I die? Very easy to get them in sight. I don't need that 50. And that's another heart piece. Oh wow, I spoiled what's in the chest. Suck it. I don't care. Majora's Mask is probably one of the most documented games on the internet. If you don't know where everything is, you should be ashamed of yourself. Now I say that, but I'm probably gonna be running around like an idiot later, but... You know what? Who cares? Now, I actually need to head my way over to the swamp. I'm pretty sure, right? Because there's nothing else to do. Wait, actually, no, yes, yes there is. There's something else that you can do in Cocktown right now. It's good that I remembered that. Anyways, now that we have a max rupee count, it's important that you deposit all of your rupees. Because every rupee you collect after that will not go anywhere. give you for the normal course, but it's just crap. This is the only way to get a piece. What? Are you kidding me? Yep, this attempts down the shitter because you need to actually get a What are you doing? What is happening? Nothing goes right in this game. Here comes the postman. Oh, shut up. Oh, 
I rested the gamepad on my leg. Wait a minute. Is the postman gonna take a turn, or is he actually gonna... He's actually going back. Shit, I might need more rupees, because this is also a mini-game if you do. There's a mini game where, like, you can talk to the postman and he counts the seconds and stuff. Now, I don't actually have my phone on me, but it's it's easier if you get the stopwatch out. Now, I've done it without the stopwatch, but uh, do you want to do it without your stopwatch app? Um, no. I probably will do it within the clip for this last play, just so you can watch this up. Because, you know, counting seconds spares a hell. That was close, and I don't want it to be that. Oh no! What the hell? I've never failed at this in life! Oh my god. Why is everything so hard? Oh, I'm miserable. No, no, shut up. I can do it. Oh, no. I'm never passing swords in school. It's gonna be frickin' nighttime by the time I finish this crap. You're draining my money, you piece of shit. Okay, ten more rupees, let's do it. Okay, so like, the first time it wasn't even like, registering my A presses, now it did it, it's just I. Let's try this again! Because if you slash it normally, you only get one point. But if you do a jump slash, and you need a perfect in order to get the perfect. I thought we were gonna go to the swamp this episode. I guess not. I guess we're stuck in Swordsman Skull. How will I beat the Skull Kid now? Okay. Okay, now it doesn't spawn in front of me already. Oh no. Oh, this is so miserable. I'm gonna be super careful this time. What is happening? Okay, get me the hell- no, no, shut up, get me the hell out of here. I spent way too many rupees on that frickin' tower. Don't worry, I'll go over that secret for those who played the game. I'll go over what that tower does. Now, I'm in luck, I don't know what the fuck the bomber code was, so I don't have a damn clue what to do here. Like, I don't remember the bomber's code. Again, it's the kind of thing about having, having it be randomized. Just, I have no freaking clue. Okay, you little shit. Oh, I did it first try! Holy crap! I actually didn't know what the code was. It's 
a weird ass code though. It usually it has some sort of numerical order to it, but that's just 41523. See, that's why you repeat it when you first get it, so you, your, your lips know what to do. Not your hands, your lips. You need to know how to type in the code. I didn't want to do it. This is another one of those hidden chests. With a silver rupee. Alright. Okay. So since the last episode is only 26 minutes long, I just thought I'd make up the 4 minutes by adding it to this episode. Hey, how do you know the secret code? Honestly, I don't know. You're pretty good. Yeah, um, what's your name? Link. Uh, yeah, Link. Bombers. Notebook. The government will probably look at this and arrest me. Look at this notebook. 20 people? Alright, that's all I have to tell you. You don't actually kill people with me. Aw, that's not Assassin's Creed. Shut up. It's not an anti-hero. Alright, let's actually do the swamp now. Wait a minute. I messed up, but it's fine. I can do that in another episode. <laughs> There's a hidden grotto here. This is just right? Oh, there's a hidden grotto here. Pretty nice. Here's some nuts, too. There's also a chest hidden back here, too. Remember you're exploring a little bit? Oh, I remember this. Kale and Andrews, the Skull Kid, when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they left him all alone. because he was playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he did just because of that,
no. I just realized that the happy mask salesman was T-posing. I never realized that. And once he got his power... And this went two minutes over time, so um, I'll see you later. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, share this with your friends if you uh, had a giggle. Uh, bye.